Hi, I'm Michelle Olson Rogers, but some of you may know me as Modern Boca Mom. I'm so excited to be partnering with Cinch Home Services to show you some DIY projects, as well as some home maintenance tips to show you just how easy home management can be. So let's get started. One of the systems in my home that I can't live without is my water heater. Not only does it power your washer as well as your dishwasher, but it also allows you to take a nice hot shower at the end of the day. However, you'll want to maintain it at least once a year to make sure you drain any of the sediment that has built up. But luckily it's easy. Let me show you how. There are two kinds of water heaters. First is electric, like this one. So before you get started, you'll want to make sure that you flip the switch in your circuit breaker to turn the power off. The other kind is a gas water heater. And in that case, you'll want to take the pilot light switch and switch it to pilot, so that way you don't have any gas flowing through it while you're working on it. No one wants any gas leaks. Next, you'll want to turn your water supply valve off, which is located at the top right-hand corner of your water heater. This stops the flow of water to the heater. For this next step, you'll want to have your garden hose on standby. Take a look at your water heater. At the base, there should be a small valve called the drain valve. You'll want to take your garden hose and align the threads with the drain valve and screw it on tightly to prevent any leaks. Then you'll want to run the other end of your hose outside or into a bucket so you can safely run off the water. Now it's time to open your drain valve. You'll want to turn it all the way to make sure you open it completely. And if you find it challenging, use a wrench for some extra muscle. Next, you'll want to pull up on the pressure relief valve on the top of the water heater to allow air to flow through and drain the water. Let that water drain. It can take up to 30 minutes for your water heater to drain completely. So just wait for the water to stop flowing from your garden hose. Next, we'll open the water valve to flush the heater out once more for about five minutes. After five minutes, we'll turn it back off again. Now it's time to turn your water heater back on. First, you'll want to close the drain valve where your hose is connected, and then we'll want to turn off our pressure valve up top. All right, next you'll want to carefully remove your hose to bring it outside to drain out any water that may have collected in it. Then you'll want to flip your circuit breaker back on if you have an electric water heater or turn the pilot light into the on position if you have a gas water heater. Congratulations, you did it! Home maintenance is easier than you think. Leave us a comment to let us know what you thought of this video and what tips you wanna see from us next.